Hi, my name is Stephen Ball, and in this video we are going to be looking at creating a cross-platform library using Delphi XE2, which we're going to be using on both Windows and on the Mac from the same common source code. So let's jump into my VM to start. Um, in my VM here I've got Rad Studio XE2 installed and I've got a, a project here that's been written using the Delphi language within Rad Studio XE2. With actually in this project group there's two projects. The first one is my library, my dynamic link library. And you can create a new library just going file, new, other, and choosing dynamic link library from the menu. And this is what you'd end up with. But within here, I've added in a function called get quote of the day. And get quote of the day returns a short string, it doesn't have any parameters passed in. And it takes the date time of the machine right now, formats that, and then adds hello world to be my quote. Obviously, not particularly inventive code, but um, just proving the point here that we're, we're asking for a function from the DLL and we're getting the response back. To make this quote of the day available, uh, it has to be marked up with the export command and under the exports list in the project source you have um, the function name listed that's going to be exported. On my target platforms for the project, we can see we have Win32, Windows 64, and I've also got Mac OS X. So now we have a DLL, we need to use it and consume it. So the second project within the project group is a program called Calling X Platform Library. And in the project there is one form, it's a very simple application with a label and a button for get quote. The on click for the button is saying set the text property to be get quote of the day, which is the name of our function from our DLL. And so our project knows about this function. We can see we have defined the external function and the name of the library that the function is exposed in. So here we have get quote of the day, external, and then the name of the library. And the name of the library is different for Windows and Mac. There's different calling conventions uh, so, uh, and standards. Sorry. So the DLL extension is a Windows extension, and a, a dynamic library, Dilib, is the Mac extension. On Windows, we are able to set a delayed command as well. Um, which is optional on the function, which will just mean it will load up at the first time it's called rather than um, being loaded directly into memory at the point that the application starts. Okay, so let's have a look at this in action. I'm going to choose Windows 32 bit target start. And as this runs, I get my Windows form up. And get quote, we can see now is returning the date, time, and hello world from the dynamic library. Now, to run this out onto the Mac, um, we need to take into account two things. Firstly, we need to deploy the, the library file to the Mac, um, and secondly, we need to send the application across to the Mac. So, if we choose the Mac target platform, and then under the project options, if we go to deployment, in here you can add in files that you need to deploy. And you can see here I've already added in the file for lib, uh, my X platform lib.dilib. So literally it's as simple as clicking on the plus sign and browsing for the file that you want to add in. And we can see that 
on the remote server this is going to be put into the same folder as the actual application so the pathing is just needing to be the actual name of the of the file so let's run that up So here we can see now we have the Mac version running using the FireMonkey platform within Delphi. We've created a cross-platform application now. And the same code we can now call getQuote. And it's returning our quote back.